A local magazine is relaunching to engage readers in the food community right here in our fine state of Connecticut. That's right. Joining us now here in the Bender Kitchen are Dana Jackson, a publisher of Edible Nutmeg, along with Jeff Schaefer, a barman. And we're going to explain what the mm -hmm. difference is between a barman and a bartender from the Alpen House restaurant. So tell us the difference between a bartender and a barman. Well, a barman uh, is traditionally a little deeper schooled. Uh, it's an older title, and it refers to the ability of discussing with some knowledge any of the wines, the spirits, or the beer behind the bar. And we're so going to be not, making a lot not of just, today. Not just pouring a beer. Not you just actually, pouring. You're There's like the Wikipedia of this sort of thing. Okay, sure, fine. It, I see those things. <laughs> right it's very reliable, too, you know. Exactly. Wikipedia is, is the place to go. And then, of course, we have Edible Nutmeg here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the magazine. Yeah. I'd be happy to. Cool. Uh, Edible Nutmeg is a regional food publication, and it focuses on small farms, farmers, and restaurateurs. Um, basically, anything that's happening locally in Connecticut as far as the food community goes is something that Edible Nutmeg would be covering. Excellent. And uh, you will have a new print issue in November, yes? That is true. The magazine's been out of print uh, briefly, but we're coming back. We're relaunching in November, so you can look for it around Thanksgiving. All right. Sounds good. And a brand new website. Brand new website. Congratulations. As a, as a, just a couple right. days ago, thank you, we relaunched nice. our website. And the nice thing about that is that while you have to wait for the print edition, you don't have to wait you for the web. You can cruise on the we interwebs. Have, we have weekly updates, new stories, new um, articles and recipes. So please, um, www.edibleNutmeg.com is a great place to visit. All right. Sounds cool. good. Thanks. And then, Jeff, you're going to be making a, a wide array of... Uh... Actually, we're going to do three today. Okay. Uh, the first, well, you need to start because it'll be need to infuse. Well, I was going to say that there's a piece of charred something. <laughs> yeah. This is and actually there's... aged American white oak. Oh, is that what we're it? It has been bathed right. in Basil Hayden bourbon for four days. Wow. We char it on premises, and it's soaked again for two more days. This is an emulation of a bourbon barrel stave. Mm -hmm. And the reason I don't use a natural one is they tend to dry mm -hmm. when we had shipped to us. And second, the aftermarket pricing has gone out of the world since we have the petite, uh, petite Syrah vendors and the rum vendors using the barrels as secondaries. Let's right. get right into get it. Get after it. All right. We're going to start by uh, heating up. <laughs> I'm sorry. There <laughs> should have been a warning with sorry. that. Should we sorry. be wearing protective goggles in, right now? I'm in Zayda's lap over here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everyone did sign a waiver, I assume. Well, well of course. Of it's course. like a creme brulee. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is so now we've got it lit. We're just going to let the low pressure take it away. Did you study uh, chemistry at all? Or? Well, I tell my guest, let me get this one. We That's got a, a no. Little, That's bit a of no. A <laughs> let me tell my guest. Of course that I did. We all remember school. being in the eighth grade yeah. and coming home from chemistry class and telling yeah. our folks, oh, I want a chemistry set. Yeah. I think I walked in that day and said, Dad, I want the keys to the liquor cabinet. Perfect. There oh, we go. Right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Detectors, right? Exactly. Yes. This is what we do every day after the show. We, all right. Uh, now, Ooh. this is how we keep it in the glass. And of course, there's always a special tool. A Sacagawea. They're no longer making those. Well, then that's mine. Oh, all uh, right, fine. Now, <laughs> limited edition. Uh, we have chosen uh, today to use a unique rye. Okay. This is a dark batch. It's from Alberta, Canada, known all as right. Alberta. Let's see what you're going to do. We're actually going to take, oh. and I'm going to treat you like newbies. So I'm actually going to leave a drum in the glass. Okay. Now, the reason we do this is uh, traditionally we serve browns, neat. Neat. Nothing done to it. Nothing done to it. Yep. Room temperature. However, anything that has been done in a charcoal barrel is going to have an inherent dry mouthfeel. Mm. Oh, so we're going to chug it with water? No. No. Oh. No, actually, what people will do is they'll do a drop of water. Oh. They'll, do a, uh, they'll do things on the rocks. Mm. Oh. Or if you want a disdainful look from a barman, ask for a splash of soda. All right. Can we just see what the finished product looks like? Because we're running out of time on uh, this well, here let's, television. Let's set that one here. All right. We'll set and... that one aside. Let's grab the other cocktail then. Nope. Right the, here. the magic of, oh, this is a cold one. So, so Jeff, what is the final product here? Do you, final are, product. Are we, we doing will, anything else with this? Yeah, or? we'll actually take that off in a second. Okay. Tell you what, let's move it to the fire instead. May I? Yeah. Please. All right. Well, oh, one last thing. Here's the this water. This is the last step here, Jeff, because we got to rock and roll. This is a signature. This is one I do not recommend Layman right. do. We got okay, 15 here, seconds. Oh, Quick. my gosh. You can pull that one out if you'd like. That's the finished product. Okay. Well, here it this is. This is what it looks like when it's all said and done. I'm not sure your camera's going to get the flame. <gasps> Look at that. That is wow. cool. Wow. And just... the, ooh, yeah, you can ooh and ah. Ooh. 
Ooh, <laughs> ah. And we just lost all of our eyebrows here on CT Style. Cheers to you. Happy 4th of July. Coming